Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really cool couple of tricks to get from data that's on the web, like these current movies here, into a chart that actually uses pictures as its axis, using two tricks that almost no one knows in Power BI. One of them is new in November 19. So let's get started. So here I am in Power BI, and what I can do is I'm going to go to get data from web. The URL, so that's going to be this one. This is Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm going to get that from there. Backspace, you don't want the final backslash there. Okay. It might ask you uh, for what settings you need to log in. So just press OK and it should load it fine. Then this kind of loads up and it tries to guess different tables. So the suggested tables, this is pretty good. So this is um, in the newer versions of this table by examples, using AI to determine that this is the kind of table that we want. Um, however, I'm going to go add table using examples because we still want images as well. And what I'm going to show you is that actually this data doesn't in any way resemble data in a table, right? There aren't rows and columns. IMDB is a little bit more like rows and columns, and this would be, you would expect, easier to get the data from. But it does actually work with this one. So, we're going to do is we're going to just enter the first couple, Ford B, Ferrari, and Midway, and these percentages. Normally, you would see up here, however, there seems to be a bug with this website that it's not loading. But that's okay. I'm just going to enter Ford versus Ferrari there. And then here, enter Midway. And then you can see that it's actually guessed the names of the other movies. Then I'm going to, I can do this with a keyboard right arrow and write this is 92%. And it's guessed that. You can see 42% midway. Not a very good movie, I guess. Charlie's Angels 54. Uh, give these, rename these to uh, score and F2 to rename this to movie. And then we're going to use this thing that's new in uh, November 2019 update. But it's a hidden trick. <laughs> you can do it now with links, which means with this image, you can press copy image address. Paste it in here. Double click that to lock it in. And then let's do it for the next one. Copy image address, doesn't matter what the URL is, it's gonna be obscure. There we go, now it's got all of those. I'm gonna call this image. Uh, press okay. I could get the rest of the details like start date in theaters, but for now I'm just going to load the data there. So it's going to take a little bit of time to load. I would obviously want to rename this away from table five. And now we're going to um, create a, a thing. Now we need to click on this image. And if I drag this in, it shows it like that. That's not what I want. I want to go to modeling and then I want to click on this and choose data category is an image URL. There we go. Now it's an image. Now what's interesting is that if I do that with the score in this kind of bar chart, it still gives me that. It doesn't give me the image. Power BI at this time is not able to give you the axis using images. However, there is a hack that you can do. <laughs> if you put this in a table and then over here, you can click. So they do work in tables, matrices, and slices and cards. So here you can say conditional formatting data bars. And I'm going to say show bar only on the score. Make that really, really big. And then I can do some formatting to the table. <laughs> so this is actually just data bars in a table. Uh, I like to go with the style of sparse like that. And then just search here for color, which, yes, is misspelled. It should have a U in it. <laughs> For all us British people, we're just going to make all these white so that it doesn't have anything there. And I'm going to switch off the total. There we go. And there we more or less have our things. Now, it's not as customizable as other charts would be because this is actually a table. But it does kind of work with slices and pretty much everything else. So if I just get a few of those that I want, we can see them showing like that. Great.
So I hope you enjoyed that trick. If you like this video, there are many, many more others on my channel. Check them out. I love looking at hacks that not many people know, plus new features and speed up tricks. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.